Uh, my brother texted me, and I had no idea. And then I got on Twitter, which I hate that place. But I got on Twitter and I read the report. And, you know, just in all the adversity you guys have faced over the last couple of years, how do you continually just try to fight through that and, and focus on what you need to? It's my job. I mean, people make a big deal about the adversity that the commanders have been facing. But at the end of the day, we're professional athletes and we get paid to play football. And that's what I'm going to do. And no matter how much adversity we deal with off the field, it's not going to I'm not going to let it affect me on the field. I was kind of going to ask you the same thing. Like you talk about being paid to play through distraction, like, but does this situation, is that different than a normal distraction? I mean, there's different levels of distractions. At the end of the day, the biggest thing is that he's safe. He's not dead and it's not life threatening. That's all that matters. Do, do you think your teammates are able to adopt that same mindset and, and kind of how would you describe the vibe of the locker room? hundred percent. You wouldn't be able to play at the NFL if you let distractions get to you, even though this is a very tragic and sad situation. B. Robert understands and he will be mad at us if we let it, if we let his situation affect us. I know what kind of guy he is. I know how he wants us to go out there and play and he's fine. He'll be back and you know, we have a job to do. He's a rookie and on the other side of the ball, but you said you know what kind of guy he is. Just how has he settled into this locker room in the first couple of months and what kind of person is he in your eyes? He's fit right in. He's exactly the kind of guy that we want and that's exactly the kind of guy that we needed. We're, ex we're really excited about him. Hey John, do you guys, when you go out in public, do you guys sometimes feel like targets just because, I mean, the wealth and all that, do you feel like that at all? Mm, I mean, maybe sometimes, but for the most part, you understand the what comes with the territory. Um, for the most part, I never really felt in danger. I never really felt like a target. Obviously, I'm going to do everything I can to be smart, but sometimes bad things just happen, you know? And when you when you see that, how long before you knew that he would be okay? I mean, as soon as I, I mean, I'm, I'm texting the guys around the team, talking to people close to the situation, and once I found out it was non-life threatening, that definitely made it a lot easier. Uh, John, I know you said you, you get paid to deal with distractions. Um, does this incident, though, put football in a different perspective, or at least even for a few minutes, sort of uh, how, you, how you think about it? Whenever someone's life is in danger, it definitely takes football out of the equation. Once we found out he was going to be fine, his injuries were non-life threatening, and I think he's being discharged today from what I've heard, that's a good sign. So, yeah. And just in general, what it's hard to separate this, but like, where is where do you think this team is at right now mentally with a couple weeks to go to, 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 to into the year? We, we had a good practice today. We're ready to play football. We're ready for the season to start. You don't really know until the week one hits, so we'll see. But I like where we're at as a team. John, uh, I know you, you said you're paid to handle the distractions, but we're also human beings. Can you describe your emotions when your brother told you that news and then you saw on social media while this is actually happened to one of you, happening to one of your teammates? It's sad, but at the same time, I was praising God because he's fine and he's going to be OK and it's not life threatening. Situation could have played out a lot worse for him and his family. And knowing that he's going to be OK, got to give God the glory. Go ahead, Appreciate it.